this time we were still here at the Ancestral River Park here at Asin Manso former or old slave market and down here by the Ancestral River Park area where we have a few breakdowns of the last bath and the first bath of return so this is a reconnection experience for all of us And then what we can do probably like last time just take a nice um, final yeah, yeah. picture at the yeah. first bath we'll, of return. We will definitely go there and uh, take some. Can and you come closer please? I've never seen so many people or so many buses here. Oh, January, some, fir January sometimes, first. Sometimes you come and they know that I know everything, so they say you go. Sometimes you come and there is no tour guide, you have to wait. One one finishes before you take your group. One finishes before you take your group. As it is, look at it, last bath. When they bring them over there, because they want to get, the merchants want to fetch much money from them, from their captives, what do they do? They allow them, chain them, there's a ball chain, and then handcuff them to each other, and they have to walk like this up through the forest to this place. Why is it that this place was only the place that they use? The Europeans get to know that... Come in, just, just get closer a little bit. There are two streams. One river, but two streams. Look at this one. It's not movable. But look at the other one. It's flowing, it's running, or flowing, yeah. So, from the initial stages, not of our distance, we're not there. So, they march them to the other side, and some of them have to drown the Europeans. As like, he's moving and get closer, he hangs you with the chain, and then all of them get into the water. So they saw that the people over here are killing them. So we have to find a way. Then they came to this place. This place doesn't move. It's stagnant. Why can't they go to the stagnant one to wash themselves? So they go in, including the chains. So they go in there. At least with this, you can just uh, uh, use your hand as a cup, fetch water, and put around yourself, and then bath. Yeah. So they yeah. went through. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. No one has fallen here before. When he falls, he has set a good record. Yeah. We'll just clap for him. Yeah. Yeah. Well yeah. So they march through this place, go down there, and then take a shower. After that, they go in tents. If it is three, 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 you come back, they chain you, three. There was a huge tree here. Huge tree. How do you think this place is healing? There was a huge tree here that fell some few years ago. At this um, 2002, we, we, we uh, uh, you remember 2002, we came and planted a tree here. But uh, it's gone. And that tree, what it does is, after taking your wash, you will come and chain you around it so that you don't run away. After taking your shower, you have to be chained around. And there are Holes. There are handcuffs like this. So when they come, they just put it in like this, hook it up, and then lock it. The next people have to come, go in there. You have to go and take your shower and come back. They sit on horseback. The Europeans. They sit on horseback. So their foot, even if an animal is coming, it will not uh, 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 have a taste of them. But they, they will just segregate themselves and leave the people there. After the animal takes whatever you want to take, the rest, let's continue our journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, the first bath of return. The first bath of return. Now, let's look at the sign. The last bath. After the last bath, 
Then you see the European or the white man. They took a picture here. These are bamboo. Those are the ones over here. It's just a painting. So they will chain them just around it and they have to stand there. So all of them finish before you match them to the center. Let me take this in. The next one over here is the auction time. We can get closer. It's the auction time. They have a certain base that they do auction. So during that time, a lot of merchants who want to buy have to come around. And then when they come around, what do they do? They have to examine them. Because they walk through the forest all over from various parts of Africa to this place, they go lean. Sometimes, once a day, you have to be fed. Sometimes no food at all. You ask yourself, while they were walking, do they carry food? No. So if you are hungry, you feel dizzy, and you fall out, they drop you, go away. Some lion somewhere, a wild animal somewhere, will have a very nice breakfast, lunch, or dinner. A new human being becomes a dinner for an animal. If you are able to get to this place, this is the only place that you treated them well. They use shea butter to brand them, put around their body, so that they will look nicer. And then, look at him, he is sitting on a chair or whatever, and then how do they determine that this is older than this or whatever? They count their teeth. So when they count their teeth, you have taken two here, that means you're an adult. If you are less than that, then you have categories. If you don't have anything in your mouth at all, you are a baby. When they arrest your mother, and you, you are the, your mother's back, you are also part of it. It got to a time that people were even giving their children out. Why? Because if you are stubborn, your parent doesn't want to waste time on you. So let it go. In terms of war, this city, this community against this community, then they will come to you, the chief. You know what? Don't worry. These people said they are going to they have guns, they have this, they are going to attack you. As a result of that, I have going to protect you. So I'm going to give you this gun, threaten them. When you get them, don't kill them, catch them. I'll give you money in addition. The tenth one goes to this place and tells the people the same thing. Incite wickedness and horrified things in between them. One day, without no any other cause, they start fighting to arrest. So if you have more children, you have more soldiers. You are strong. You have more money. You become wealthy. So this is the way they sell them. Over there is the branding branding, one of the horrifying things that happened to our ancestors. They put iron, they have various designs, their own trademarks on iron, a piece of iron. And how do we know, or how will they know that those 20 slaves belong to company A, 50 slaves belong to company D. This one belongs to this. We need to identify. So for them to identify, they came with this idea. Why can't we brand them? And the branding is not just painting on human body. They could have gotten a paint, paint on their hands, but because of wickedness and atrocities, and I don't know even sometimes how to describe it, they put iron in fire to become red. And as you see, they will stamp it on your body. 
either on your hand, at the back of, and now all your chest, you put it there. Currently, when you see cattle, I know in U.S. and other places they do, mm -hmm. to cattle, not human beings. But just started from here that they did it to human beings. So that when they get into the slave dungeon, they know that dust and dust and dust belong to that person. This is my trademark, so you'll be able to get his people. When any of them die, you know that I have lost thus amounts. So that is the branding. And all of this took place here. After taking your shower, you look nice, you put the shea butter, and then a palm kernel oil, and everything. Now, when they put it there, they'll be sore. So they use palm kernel oil, but it's also medicinal. You just put it in there to kill the sore for you. Kill the pain? Oh, to kill, yes. Pumpkin, palm, palm kernel. kernel. Oh. There's a, a certain uh, a oil that you're getting from uh, uh, palm the palm tree. Oh, yeah. A lot of them die as a result of shock. A lot of them die as a result of shock. Can you just imagine if you are taking something and then the fire touches your hand or whatever? Mm -hmm. Even much. Mm -hmm. Just a little finger. What about your back or your thigh? Horrible. Do they burn the babies? They do. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of them die. But sometimes they look at the age of the baby. Sometimes they will not brand the baby. They will leave the baby because the mother is taken care of. And when they come and your baby is not there, you are in trouble. They need your baby. <laughs> you can't escape. Okay, so let's go down here. How do you do it? How do you <laughs> As you are descending, just be careful. You can hold just two sides, one of them, and then you go. Because it's a little bit steep. Come through this way, but these leaves are very slippery. They are very, very slippery, and uh, I don't want anyone to fall down. Yeah, I could have gone through that side and then cut me, but it's slippery, that's why you can see this. Yes, now that one, that river that you see is the Don Consul. Don Consul means slave river. Because that one is very quiet and stagnant but it flows a little bit into the mainstream and then it goes. This one is a source of water that they purified from one end for the people in the community and its surrounding area. There's a pump station. During our rainy season, June, July, we can't even stand here. There's so much water from here, from this stream, and even from this place comes all over. You can see some stagnant water there. Yeah, you can't stand here. It flows with currents. So around that time, it is just after the rainy season, that is why the, uh, um, the merchant stayed in and said, no, let's use that place than this place. A lot of Europeans were drowned here with the uh, 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 slaves. They were drowned here. Because as they try to swim, Ada will try to free himself. Some of them have never swim before. From the northern part, they don't have a river like this to swim. Some people know how to swim, some doesn't know how to swim. Over here, when it comes to, okay, when, I'll leave that one when you get there. The river that is flowing, 
I would like you to touch it or wash your feet. If you want to wash your face, some people believe that when they come here and they pray, the ancestors hear their prayer, like praying in the uh, 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 dungeons, they, they hear their prayer and answer them. A lot of you have testified to that. You can, if you want to wash your face, you can do that. You want to put your feet in, you can do that. It's as cold as cold water. But there is no any machine that is producing ice. <laughs> One of the wonderful things that you just, just understand when you come here. Can we drink the water? Yes. Now, when you look it's around, you may think there is a certain... Uh, no, it's not good. <laughs> yeah. Some people thought it's good. It's a, a certain type of mineral. It's in the rock. It's in the rock. So you can just uh, see. Oh, you can take some time of the time. 